So what should a person do in order to improve their vocabulary? Just search on YouTube and you will find a plethora of content. If you want to improve your vocabulary, you need to read about different topics. She pretended not to understand. The children pretended to be dinosaurs. Like Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Do you know that a word becomes a part of your vocabulary when you use it frequently? For example, if you drive a car, you will know all related vocabulary like dashboard, gear, clutch, accelerator, etc. I do not drive a car, so I wouldn't be able to give you more words related to a car. For a person who doesn't know driving, it will be difficult to memorize and remember words. Likewise, a lawyer will know their vocabulary, doctor will know theirs because they use them daily in their life. So, what should a person do in order to improve their vocabulary? Well, let me discuss some tips related to the same. I will divide this video into two sections. In the first section, I will discuss how you can accumulate vocabulary and from where. In the second section, I will discuss how to utilize the new words that you have learned. The first thing what you can do is accumulating vocabulary. Now how to do that? Number one, you need to read a lot. What should you read? No, I am not going to talk about the same regular stuff by telling you that read what interests you. I am not telling that. That is just to motivate you, just to make you inculcate reading habit in your practice. But if you want to improve your vocabulary, you need to read about different topics. You should read articles on different topics if you want to expand your vocabulary. Because that is your main intention here. You should read diverse topics, sometimes related to politics, sometimes relationships, goals, planning, hobbies, personality development, biography and the list is endless. I want to give a special mention to newspaper articles, magazines, showbiz which are in English. Other than reading, you can also do the next step which is listening and watching. I would give you the same advice even when it comes to listening. You need to listen to and watch news, different news anchors and TV reporters. Watch interviews of politicians, celebrities and business people. By watching and listening simultaneously, you not only get new vocabulary but also you are able to understand the body language and the context in which the word is being used. I would give a special mention on TEDx talks. If possible, try to watch one TEDx talk a day. Here, people talk about their experience and advice on various topics. Along with getting new vocabulary, you will also get a lot of knowledge on different topics including health, both physical and mental, exercise, women empowerment, diet and almost everything. Just search on YouTube and you will find a plethora of content. That is about finding new vocabulary. But is it just enough to read, listen and watch content? Yes, you will encounter new words but how are you going to put them into practice? Learning is not enough. It just stays in your mind. But unless you utilize them, it will not show up in your speaking practice. So now, let's come to the second section of the video which is activating whatever vocabulary you have learned. See, whenever you are listening, watching or reading English content, if you encounter any new word, write it down in a book. It is important that you maintain a separate book for writing new vocabulary. Now, what should you write? Not just the word, 
write the entire sentence. By writing down the entire sentence, you will also know in what context that word was used. Underline that specific new word that you have discovered in that sentence. Now, take that word and write three or four sentences of your own using those words. I will give you an example. For example, you came across the word pretend. Now, pretending means to behave in such a way to make it appear that something is the case when in fact it is not. In simple words, it is like acting. So, what sentences can be made using this word? So, the first sentence could be, he pretended to be looking elsewhere. She pretended not to understand. The children pretended to be dinosaurs. Like this, write down sentences, simple sentences which come to your mind using that word that you encounter. Try to write at least four or five words in a day and frame sentences. Be prepared that you need to listen and read a lot in order to accumulate vocabulary. After you have written a few words, you need to use them. And then it is not just enough for you to learn them. It is important that you use them in your speaking practice. Unless you use them, they will not become a part of your speech. Indulge actively in conversations. This is the best way to activate the vocabulary that you have learnt. Try to have conversations on different topics. When you talk on different topic, you will get a chance to use diverse vocabulary. There you can put your learning to test. Try to use new vocabulary. If not, you will forget and they will just vanish out of your memory. If you have enough time, just make some sticky notes and stick them around your house like word of the day or something of that sort so that you keep revising throughout the day. It is important that you remove this vocabulary book of yours and keep revising now and then. If you practice these steps regularly and accumulate, suppose you accumulate around three words a day three or four, okay? Just imagine in one month, you will be able to accumulate at least 90 to 100 words. In three months, close to 300 words. Like this, you can set a goal for yourself. That is within three months, I am going to learn new vocabulary. Try the steps that I have told in this video for at least three months and see how well your vocabulary improves. I hope you found your answer of how to improve vocabulary in this video. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Please share this video to your friend who also is looking on ways to improve their vocabulary. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in another video.